Yo, 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 man, it's 7420TV, How Mind Think, it's the podcast, listen, man, listen, listen, a little quick little video, man, this time he giving the callers of uh, FYE and Kwame and some people in his chat a little educational course, so I'm gonna stop talking, man, get into this video real quick, it's a real quick one, so I ain't gonna probably do much talking, educational, I'm gonna show y'all something that you probably never heard before. But it makes sense. You do an educated guess, you have to remember, it would be hard for me to see that word and pronounce it correctly if I'd never seen it or heard it said. Do you understand that? Just like kerfuffle. If I see this word and I pronounce it correctly, typically people who can see a word pronounce it correctly and tell you what it means they've probably been around that word before it's not an educated guess but there's nothing wrong with an educated guess and let me explain this to you brother but i don't need mind explaining this to you there's nothing wrong with an educated guess because those of us who know our way around english or those of us who might have taken latin like i did what you can do is even if you do not know a word you can use this thing in the flow of conversation, if you don't have a book, it's called Context Clues, sir. Context Clues. So therefore, you can look at how a word is used. You can even go to the root word of that long word and see if you know the smaller version of that word. If you see a big word and you may not know the big word, break it down in the little words. Look for in the big word. Don't it make sense, man? Don't it make perfect sense, bro? Just listen. Just listen to this, man. Little words you might know. In the big word, look for the little ones that you may know. Because they give you clues of what that word may mean. Also, listen to how it's being used in a sentence. That will, again, the objects in which, say it's a verb or an, or an adjective. The objects in which those words are are being used to describe or being used to say of an action or whatnot. Those are the context clues that you can use to find out what the word means. Best example I can give you of that, of what you do on the fly, is the word L-I-V-E and other words, which is just like that, like R-E-A-D. R-E-A-D is read and read, but the context clues prior to it will let you know what that word is when you get to it, which your mind works so fast that as you are reading, the context clues will tell you what R-E-A-D is or L-I-V-E is. But you do not know it when it's by itself. But your, again, your mind works so fast that as you are reading, you now know when I say I'm about to go L-I-V-E. You know that it's live, not I'm about to go live. But if I say, where do you L-I-V-E? You assume at that point it's where do you live, especially with the context clues coming before it, which is what was going on prior to it as someone was asking me about my residence. Sir. So there's nothing wrong with having an educated guess because what that means is you have the ability to use context clues. And there I go, man, ladies and gentlemen, man. I don't see no other YouTubers doing this, man. Spoke, man, he dropped a lot of jewels for y'all, man. I hope y'all picked them up, man. Remember again, it's 7410 TV, man. I gave it to y'all first. Hi, man, I think it's a podcast and I'm out of here.